Hey ladies, I am here for my 37 and 30 week update. I actually will be 30 week, 38 weeks tomorrow. I wanted to get this video up a little bit early just in case if I were going to labor. Um, just because I've been having some symptoms that are kind of making me think it's going to be soon. Hoping not, obviously, because like I said in my last video, I'm hoping that she at least hangs on until the 3rd after 10 p.m. And just because that's when um, Dave, my husband, is flying in. It's really, really hoping that she holds off and waits until then. I said there's some weird symptoms going on. My situation, again, is a little bit different because I do have an incompetent cervix and a permanent cerclage. not quite sure if... Uh, this is actually signs of labor or just my uterus being irritable like it usually is. Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and get into how baby is doing. She has um, done she has done great on all of her NSTs. My doctor actually said that um, I get like the perfect looking baby award um, last week on my last NST. So um, that was pretty cool. He said that she looks perfect every single time except those first few ones I had where she just wasn't moving as much or she was moving too much and they were kind of trying to get her to stay on the monitors and move and stuff like that. So um, but he said that she is looking perfect. She's definitely getting big in there. Um, I think I'm measuring like a week and so many days ahead as I am. Like I said, I am pretty short so um, it's not surprising that she's pretty squished in there and I look humongous. Um, I look huge and I feel huge. Um, I have stretch marks on top of my stretch marks which I didn't even think could happen but apparently it can. Um, so I've been using a lot of the cocoa butter um, like stretch mark cream and just trying to keep as much lotion on my belly as possible as possible especially because I do have a pretty gnarly rash um, where my stretch marks are and just where my where I feel the biggest which is mostly like around my belly button. I think that is because my skin has pretty much stretched as far as it will go. You know like Neosporin on the spots that are really painful. Um, it's not too bad right now. I mean it itches obviously. It's just kind of red and just it looks crazy. Um, which is one of the reasons why I don't do bare belly shots because it just looks awful. It's doing perfect. Um, I read on, I think it was Baby Center, that she is now the size of a watermelon, which is like so crazy to me um, because I feel like, how is that, how is she fitting in my belly like right now? Like how is that even possible? Um, I can definitely feel that she has run out of room. She doesn't move as much, which was really, really crazy. Um, I was walking down my parents' driveway and all of a sudden I felt my whole belly shift from the left to the right. So she definitely moved to the right side. Um, I don't think she's able to move anymore because I have felt that she's kind of cramped in that position. I think that she could move that like that, but apparently they can. Um, it was just like a, such a weird feeling. Like It kind of felt like just like one swift quick move and it wasn't painful but it was really just like a weird sensation I don't know how to exp how to describe it as far as symptoms are going um, I definitely have the morning sickness or nausea um, which doesn't surprise me because I did have it throughout my whole pregnancy with Dallas and I didn't think I was gonna get away with it this time although I had my fingers crossed um, but I did have you know a pretty significant amount of nausea right before I had him and that's kind of what's happening now so far I have only gotten sick maybe a couple times but it's just like the all-day nausea that's really bother bothering me and nothing really seems to help I've been trying to drink a lot of water and just ginger ale and things like that stuff to you know just to help settle my stomach um, I've actually been craving toast which actually has helped um, which has kind of helped with the nausea, especially in the morning. I like to have a little bit of butter and jelly on my toast. That's kind of how my grandma made it for me um, growing up, and it's still something that I, I love to enjoy now. I'm trying to eat light, although yesterday I had a big appetite at dinner, so I was really happy for that and quite surprised. I gained a total of 11 pounds. I did gain most of it back during the third trimester. As you remember, in the first and second trimester, um, I didn't gain anything because I was so sick um, with morning sickness. Um, my weight gain now has definitely slowed down. I think the last couple of weeks I've only gained maybe like a half a pound. Um, my doctor isn't concerned about it obviously because she is measuring so big and I am still you know on the heavier side um, with being pregnant. Um, I've also noticed a lot of swelling like in my face, my feet, my hands, um, especially at night and um, the swelling in my face really hasn't gone down too much. 
Um, I've just been drinking lots of water, taking up some salt baths. That seems to help the swelling a little bit, especially in my hands and feet because um, I do notice towards the end of the night is when things start to slow up a lot. So um, I've also been watching my salts, uh, my salt intake. Um, I'm not really a big salt person. I don't like really salty foods anyway. My issue is sweets. Um, I love chocolate. I always have loved chocolate. Um, which is weird because during like the beginning of this pregnancy, I didn't really care for sweets. I really didn't want anything. Um, but lately my appetite has seemed to return a little bit. I, I think things might be happening pretty soon. Um, and this is TMI for those of you that don't want to listen to this. Um, I suggest that you kind of skip over this part or click off the video. Um, I did talk to you guys last week about losing my mucus plug. thought it was done. Um, but apparently not because I guess it can regenerate itself and keep happening. Um, well, I, that happened and I also had, I guess, what they call your bloody show. Um, I've been spotting since uh, last night, since about 10 p.m. Um, still spotting. Um, it's not too bad. Um, I am going to be calling my doctor pretty soon here to just to let him know. Um, I don't think he's going to be concerned or want me to come in just because I'm not like in any pain or anything. Um, but again, my situation is different because I do have a permanent cerclage. I do have an appointment with, appointment with him tomorrow, so he might just make me wait till tomorrow and, unless I have some other issues going on. Um, I'm still having contractions, my usual, you know, contractions. Actually, at my NST, um, which was on Monday, um, I was having contractions from 4 a.m. until my NST, and they were measuring, like, in the 70s, um, on the monitors which is pretty high for me. Um, usually they're just, usually it gets into the 30s, which is like what they consider like irritability or Braxton Hicks contractions. These were a little bit higher and I was definitely feeling them. I let him know. He checked me. He said that um, everything was fine. Um, he said that, you know, I'm still, um, I still have that slight dilation, which is completely normal to have because Again, my body doesn't know that I have a permanent cerclage. Um, the outside can change all it, all it wants. It's just the inside that won't change. And that's, again, why I'm having a C-section. As far as, like, labor updates or C-section updates or pictures of when, she, when she's born, um, I will be doing that all on my Facebook like page. So you guys can follow me on there. Um, I will have a link for that down below. Make sure you follow me on there if you guys want to be in the know. Um, just because I don't think I'll have time to do a video to let you guys know what's going on just because obviously I'll be having a c-section. I'm definitely going to try to get birth budget. Um, we're definitely going to be filming her birth and you know everything before then so make sure you guys um, you know still subscribe if you're not already um, just so you can get a notification for that. Go ahead and show you guys the belly. I will see you guys for my 39 week update. Um, I'm also going to be posting my What's in My Hospital Bag video um, right after this video, so make sure you keep an eye out for that as well. And I will see you.